Hey everyone, I'm not Dan, but in this video I'm going to show you how to write the electron configuration for neutral atoms. It's... Well, welcome back. Before we go any further, make sure that you've got your periodic table. And once you've got it, I'll meet you inside the computer. Let's go! All right, so it's time to learn how to write electron configuration for neutral atoms. And I've got three examples here to show you. So we're going to start with nitrogen here, which is the easiest one. So if we take a look at our periodic table, so here is nitrogen. It's element number seven. And if you recall how to read through the periodic table, like I showed you in the last video, nitrogen here is 2p3. However, the electron configuration requires us to take into account all of the electrons, not just the ones here that represent its position in the periodic table. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here with hydrogen, and in order to get to nitrogen, right, we've got to go all the way through the 1s block, so we represent that with a 1s2. We're going to go all the way through the 2s block, which is a 2s2, and then we're going to get to the 2p block, and nitrogen is number 3. So here's how we write that out. So we're going to start with 1s, Two, and electron configuration is always written like this, where the first number is the energy level, and it's written as a normal size number. The sublevel is written as a lowercase letter, and then the orbital number is written as a superscript or as an exponent. Okay, so I got 1s2, and then 2s2, and then 2p3, just like that. Now the brilliant thing about electron configuration is that there is a self-check built right into your answer. Uh, if you add up our exponents here, we got 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7, and then we go back to our periodic table and you can see that nitrogen is element number 7, so you know that you have written it correctly. Okay. Now, this is what we call the longhand notation, which obviously implies that there is a shorthand notation. So here's how it works. You're going to go to your element, which in this case here is nitrogen, and you're going to go backwards until you reach a noble gas. So in this case it is helium. And so we are going to write helium in brackets like so, and helium's electron configuration is 1s2, and so we're just going to pick up where helium leaves off. So we're going to write 2s2 and then 2p3, like that. Now I, I realize that for this particular example the shorthand doesn't exactly look shorthand, but trust me, later on uh, some of our other examples the shorthand truly is going to be much shorter. Okay, let's move on to iron. So iron is right here. It is element number 26. It is in the 3D block. In fact, it is 3D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. However, we also need to take into account all of the elements that come before it. So here's how we're going to write it out. Once again, we start with hydrogen. We're going to go all the way through the 1S block. So that is a 1S 2. We're going all the way through the 2s block, so that's a 2s2. All the way through the 2p block, so that's 2p6. All the way through 3s, so that's the 3s2. And then 3p6. We come down to the fourth level, and we have a 4s2. And now we have finally reached the 3d block, and we have 3d6. Six. And just to make sure that we have done this correctly, 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 6 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 6 is 18, plus 2 is 20, plus 6 is 26. And as we can see here, iron is element number 26. All right, now for the shorthand. Okay, so we're going to go backwards until we get to our previous noble gas, which in this case is argon. So we put argon in brackets, like so, and argon is 3p6, and so we just pick up where that leaves off with a 4s2, 3d6. All right, let's try one more, which is promethium. 
Promethium is down here in the F block. It is element number 61. All right, so it is 4F, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but we need to go all the way through the periodic table until we get to element 61, which is why it's really important for you to really know how to read through the periodic table like I showed you in the last video. All right, so here's how it goes. We start with 1S2, then 2 S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, and then we get 3D10, because we're going all the way through that 3D block, and then it's 4P6, on down to 5S2, after 5S2 we've got the 4D10, 10 on up to 5p6 and then 6s2 and we have now finally reached the 4f block and it is 4f5. All right, let's double check ourselves to make sure that we did this correctly. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 6 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 6 is 18, plus 2 is 20, plus 10 is 30, plus 6 is 36, plus 2 is 38, plus 10 is 48, plus 6 is 54, plus 2 is 56, plus 5 is 61, and Promethium is element number 61 right here. Now for shorthand, let's go backwards on up this way until we reach our previous noble gas, which is xenon right there. All right, so we're going to put xenon in brackets like so, and xenon is actually 5p6, so we're just going to pick up where that one leaves off, and so we've got 6s2, and then 4f5. Truly, in that example, the shorthand really is a shorthand notation. All right, guys, so that's how it works. I will check you later. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch. As always, if you have any further questions, just comment below, or you can send me an email to chemistrytalk at gmail.com. I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later. Dude.